Hey there folks, uh, time for a Blender tutorial. Uh, I made this little cat avatar guy here and uh, it's for a project we're going to be doing here with the video group. They need a little cute avatar to kind of like dance in the corner there. So I just kind of whipped this guy up and you can see here that he is um, done in a kind of like a tune style. And these lines actually look much better when I, I have it at my normal screen resolution. But anyway, I wanted to show you about the tune shading technique and how to get the nice edge lines that go around things. So the first thing is, um, if we look at this character, we select this character, you'll see that I've given him, um, or her, it's kind of like an androgynous character. So I've given it a, uh, a couple of different textures. And um, let's see, we've got a body texture that's blue, and we've got the eyes are black, the, the hands, gloves are white, the chest is brown, red shoes and stuff like that. Um, so let's see how I've, I've done um, this and, and give you some hints on how to use the tune shader. So if, if you want to get the look that I showed you in the rendering, all right, show the rendering again, uh, there's a few things you should do. Okay, the first thing, uh, you create a, your materials like you normally do, and then uh, let's go under Diffuse. And uh, under Diffuse, uh, you select Tune from the uh, shader model. And it's the same thing for Specular, select Tune under the shader model. Uh, the next thing you should do is, uh, normally the intensity is set to about like 0.8. Uh, so you should crank the intensity of your Diffuse property up to the maximum, 1.0. And then the size, size of the diffuse tune area, uh, I found out that um, the default is kind of like, you know, down here somewhere. So if you look at your shader ball, you'll see that you have this big black area. If you were to render this now, you'll see it's not quite as pronounced because of the lighting, but if I crank this down and render it, you'll see that it, it's not quite as, as nice as it was before because um, you're only getting like one spot that's um, kind of... Uh, brightly colored. So I found that if you increase the size until your, your your shader area is kind of like you know once your shader ball is almost completely covered or whatever you might want to just keep doing it here. Alright you'll get much more of a tune kind of look where you have a much brighter area and then you got a bit of a darker area and um, it, it I think a, a value of for example size of like you know, 1.1, 1.2 or something seems to, to be pretty nice. Uh, you can see the difference from the different renders I did. Uh, the other thing is uh, for the shader, uh, specular, uh, usually the intensity is, is a bit high up like this. If you leave the intensity high up, uh, you know, it can, you know, of course, you know, depending on the type of look you want, uh, if you leave the intensity up to where it normally is, you're going to get, uh, let's crank the intensity of the specularity up. And you'll see this gives much more of a glossy kind of look to it. But you start getting kind of like this banding here. So I usually uh, leave the intensity down pretty low to the point where you almost can't see the specularity. And uh, we'll just go ahead and do that. Okay, so now you're getting um, almost no specularity. And so you have this two-tone kind of look which for the most part you'll want. You'll want kind of like a, a light area and kind of a, a darker area to to your different um, uh, sides of the model. Okay, so that's part one of it. Uh, the next thing you probably want if you're doing like a tune shaded type character is you want to have these lines around him. So if you go uh, to the render tab here and you go down under edge, if you check mark edge and start cranking up the threshold, then you will get, let's turn edge off, okay? So that's nice. That has kind of like a soft appeal to it, soft look. But if you're doing tune, like traditional tune type stuff, you might want... Actually, that's kind of a nice look to it if you were going for a softer kind of storybook thing. But if you want um, edge, I would uh, turn this on and crank up the threshold. You can actually crank this threshold up quite a bit, and then you'll start getting uh, more and more lines depending on the kind of the curvature of the model and stuff like that. But... Uh, you know, if you crank it up to like 100, for example, it should be enough. If you leave the threshold down... In this model, it probably won't show up as much, but uh, <clears throat> you can see here you're starting to not get um, edges where these kind of edges of the model touch and whatnot. So I'm, I usually find if you, you can crank this uh, threshold up on the edge value pretty high, and it tends to give you a pretty good result. So you can just keep playing with these values until it's the way you want. Now there with the um, edge threshold up almost all the way, you can see that even when the uh, hand is touching the leg, as you could see before, 
there was no edge there before. Now there's an edge. And even here where the, uh, the ear was meeting uh, the head, before you couldn't see an edge and now you do. So it just depends on the look you want, uh, the style you want, but uh, for the most part I think these types of settings will work out well for you. Okay, so uh, hopefully this uh, little introduction to the tune shader is going to be helpful to you and I look forward to seeing what you do with it.